Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit more about maple tree tapping. When my wife and I first got into the process, one of our main questions was what is going to be the lasting impact on these trees? We had just one maple tree in our front yard at the house we lived at at the time. It was a very large tree, about twice as tall as our house, and really the amount of money it was going to cost if that tree got damaged and needed to be taken down was going to far outweigh the cost of any syrup we could just go buy at a store so it was a question on our mind then and certainly want to share some of our experiences uh, with tapping trees and hopefully that'll help you guys make the decision of whether or not you're going to tap your trees now to start off i will say that we are using 5 16 inch spiles from the research that I read into on this, these spiles can deliver about 94% of the amount of sap that you'll get out of a 7 16 inch spile. If I can find the link to that uh, research, I'll link that in the description. But really, you're not missing a whole lot by using a smaller spile, and you are doing less damage in these trees. I have found that a lot of these have healed up, but it's certainly gonna be dependent on a few things. What's the vigor like of your tree? Is it a really good, strong, healthy tree? Does it have a lot of damage to it? Has its bark been rubbed at by deer? Uh, is it a very large tree? Are you putting maybe more taps than the tree can handle? Or maybe the tree is just on the decline. Maybe it's kind of reached its biological potential and it's starting to just die naturally. Maybe those won't heal as fast, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at several different trees. Here we've lived for, this will be our third winter, our third time tapping these trees. So we'll look at holes that were put in these trees last year and the year before and how those have healed over and uh, hopefully give you guys a little bit more insight. We'll start with the tree I was just recording next to. You can probably already tell that we've got a hole right here. I believe this is last year's hole as it's a little bit deeper in that we can see where this is healed over. I'm not going to cut the tree down and take a cross section today. Maybe at some point in the future we'll do that with the tree. Uh, but this one is quite healthy. And this has healed over here. Coming around the side. This was where we tapped the year before. So even this hole, the bark is thickening up and getting out closer to where it was before. It is recommended that you don't tap real close to where you did the previous year so that way the tree can fully recover in that area before you get back to it next up we've got quite a larger tree this is a tree we've put two taps in this year i believe one previous year we put three but overall the vigor on this tree is still seems to be pretty good but it does have quite a bit of damage from where a larger limb had fallen off over here so I don't want to push my luck too much on this tree and overdo it, though I think I did the first year. And I actually did put two taps real close to each other. I think we'll see some of the effect of that. So here's the lower one. And either this has not healed over very well because I didn't get the spile out soon enough. It's easy to forget and lose track of these at the end of the season. Or it's because I also tapped right here above the previous year and so it didn't have as much uh, ability to heal over because it's already suffering from a wound below. So that's something to remember is get your taps out when the season is over. Don't let them sit around and get distracted gardening or whatever else. I've certainly done that. Next one over here seems to have healed quite well. Completely closed in as did this next one here. as did this one. So you can see how they kind of close in from both sides and uh, heal in toward the middle. And I'm not sure how much time it takes underneath that, but that at least seals in, uh, prevents anything from getting in there that you wouldn't want. And the next two trees here are a little bit on the smaller side, closer to maybe 10 to 15 inches in diameter. And on these, you can especially see actually some of this kind of scarring above and below where we did the tapping. Not completely sure what caused this. It could have been tapped when it was too cold or maybe we hammered the spiles in too far. 
but even that damage seems to have healed over on both of these. And here's another smaller tree that I've tapped a few times. You can see that has healed over. As has that. And that would have been two years ago on this side here. Well, if this was a concern that you had, hopefully I've helped to alleviate that concern. I've seen small trees, large trees, healthy trees, trees with lots of damage all heal over from these wounds from these spiles. I don't think that's going to cause any more damage than anything else you've got going on. So certainly get out there and tap your trees, but make sure you take out those spiles in time for these things to really get that healing process started. If you've enjoyed this content, you want to see more, be sure and subscribe or check out this video next. Thanks for watching.